What you are about to see is provided for education purposes only. How you use this information is totally up to you. We do not accept any responsibility for your application and use of this information. And we promise that we would be showing videos in regards to voltage on the 12 volt actuators. Uh, we previously had shown mechanical advantage. Now it's time to look at voltage advantage. So we're going to run a test on a 12 volt actuator here. And uh, the first is uh, at 12 volts and we're going to see how long it takes to uh, extend it. Now keep in mind this test is an unloaded test. There's no resistance on this actuator at all. It is free to move. This slowness is exactly why we need to find a means of getting more speed out of these actuators. fifty eight point nine six seconds almost fifty nine seconds now here same actuator twelve inch but we're going to be applying almost nineteen volts to it and here we go seems to be doing much better but keep in mind again this is on an unloaded actuator no resistance to it thirty six point sixty three seconds that's about a twenty two second improvement using nineteen volts versus twelve volts but that's still unloaded now this small loader I built with the idea of exper experimentation. So it's built so that I could use a number of different actuators and positioning and so on. And uh, uh, you'll see that I'm using six inch actuators here. So these tests now are going to be a little bit different. We, we're talking about a six inch actuator, but we're still going to be comparing 12 volts on the 6 inch actuator loaded this time we've got some weight on the front of the uh, loader here and we're going to compare it with 12 volts and 19 volts same actuators twenty four point forty seven seconds That was at 19 volts. Now we're going to make the conversion over to 12 volts. twenty six point eight six seconds so the difference loaded between 12 volts and 19 volts is about two and a half seconds how did we get the 19 volts well we used a step up power converter 15 amp if you decide to use something like this you want to allow at least five amps per actuator okay so if you using three actuators on the front you want at least 15 amps 20 amps would be even better and in performance tests the 19 volts worked very nicely 
it just was still slow, too slow. So what we're going to do next then is we're going to go to 24 volts and we're going to test that. So there's another video coming, part three, and uh, we hope that you're going to watch it. We're going to take this thing all the way to 40 volts, okay, to see what these actuators can take and uh, what the results will be. So please keep watching. We hope that this has been helpful to you. We hope you liked what you saw. Please click the like button if you did. And uh, also you can subscribe so that when the new videos come out, you'll be notified. Thank you so much.